When it comes to the Sub 250, the days of the charging plugs are over. We usually now only get USB cables and we don't even get any of these charging bricks. So what's the best way to charge your Sub 250, especially when it comes to the Mini 3? The Mini 3 is now one of the most popular drones out there. And certainly for the flyby guys, it's the most popular drone that we are using in operations. But if you are working with this drone every day as much as we are, you need to be optimal to do your operations properly. And charging your, your batteries is one of the most important things to keep yourself as efficient as possible. So when it comes to charging, what should you use? Well, there are so many different kinds of charging bricks out here that I've got different wattages. So I'm going to do a test and I'm going to charge up many of these Mini 3 batteries and I'm going to time it so you can see how long it takes and I'll put on the wattage of all these plugs. So I've got different kind of plugs. I've got a DJI plug here. This came from the smart controller. This is actually 24 watts. This is an Apple. I think it's 5 watts. This is a 20 watt uh, USB-C charger and this is from my MacBook and this is 67 watts. So I'm going to test all of these and I also may will try to do um, you, you know, one of these battery packs as well because when you're on the road it's you know you may not be able to charge let's say in a plug so uh, so 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 using these battery packs may be a lot more efficient for you but how fast are they that's the most that's, that's the most important thing let me just say that when DJI started to do the USB-C charging I thought it was one of the best moves they ever made because um, you know, as you know what we do, we, you know, we're always on the road, we, you know, we're always out there flying. So being able to charge on the go is very, very important. So this was a great step forward. So I'm going to test this. I'm going to see how long it takes. I'll put it over here and, and I'll put a timer next to it. Uh, but first of all, I need to empty these batteries because they're a bit full. So I'm going to go out, I'm going to fly. And I'll take these batteries down to 10%. So every battery will be down to 10%. And then we'll charge it from 10% onwards. And that will give you a good indication. And then I'll put the wattage on there. Just so you know yourself what's the best way to charge to be more efficient when it comes to flying. Here we go. All these all these batteries down to 10%. I'm now going to attach them to each of the different charging bricks. I will actually put a timestamp into all of those. So if you want to check them out separately, you can if you want, if you want to go back and check it. Um, so uh, I'll attach these, I'll set it to a timer, I'll fill them it, and I'll maybe just fast forward to the very end just so you see the results. And um, I keep forgetting to say this, but just to get this a bit further, if you can like and subscribe to the channel, that would be great. I keep forgetting to ask because I'm just too concentrated on the video itself. Uh, I keep getting into trouble for not saying that as much as I should do. But uh, yeah, so I'll attach these and then I'm going to have some lunch because this may take some time. Or
So, no great surprise when it came to the results here. Uh, obviously, the 5 watt took a long time. It was 3 hours and 12 minutes. So, charging 3 batteries is going to take you over 9 hours. And that's, that's not efficient at all, is it? So, I would really recommend not using the low wattage ones. 24 watts was 1 hour and 56 minutes. So, you're looking at less than, uh, less than 6 hours to charge all 3 batteries. And, of course, the most efficient was the 67 watt charger which came in at 49 minutes. So you're looking at less than three hours, but two and a half hours to charge all three batteries, much more efficient. Uh, yeah, so again, once the flyby guys, once we get back to our operations base, if it's usually a hotel, you know, because uh, all, all our work and then we you know, get back to the hotel, first thing you do is get the batteries charged up. That's the first thing you do. So you're ready for the next day and then you do the data and whatnot. So uh, trying to be as efficient as possible. How are you efficient? Has this helped you? Or maybe you have something better? Please let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. We really want to share this so that everyone gets the chance to be more efficient because efficiency makes you fly a lot longer. Okay? Thank you very much, everyone. And as always, fly safe.